This conference will now be recorded. I will begin with the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome everybody to the Special American County Commission meeting to canvas the election. With that, I will turn it over to the professionals. <laughs> okay, so in your commission packet, you have uh, election summary reports, and um, there were actually no changes. We did not receive any additional ballots in the mail after election day, and so there are the election night totals are the totals up to this point. Okay. So, do you um, want to go through the report at this time, or do you want to just um, move ahead? How about hit the highlights? Okay. Uh, pretty, uh, very smooth election. Uh, it was uh, May 9th. We had two poll sites, um, plus the courthouse for early voting. And um, some some voters were removed from their normal poll site so that we didn't have to open a poll site and oh, can bill or keep body sure. over arms. And so um, we did send postcards for the to those voters because that's a requirement of the law. So if we change their poll site for any reason, we have to send them notification, which we did. So uh, USD 408 will be required to reimburse the county for the cost of the election, and that is not known yet what that total cost is. So it's, it takes a little bit of time for the vendors to send the invoices for the coding of the uh, equipment and so forth. And then we still have to run the payroll costs and okay. the building site costs for the um, poll workers. So um, we did tabulate all uh, ballots with the DS450. Um, let's see. There were two that could not be read by the scanner, and so they were counted by hand. We do have those results that were tallied by the election board right here. They are not added into these totals. So that's the first thing this board will do will be to count them, will be to read those votes, and we'll add them to the totals here. Um, I've given you a break down of the number of voters and where they voted and uh, including provisionals and advanced by mail. Uh, the provisional ballot summary, we had one that did not have their name in the, or excuse me, two didn't have their name in the poll book. However, uh, we had one poll book at Marion here that we had inadvertently left the clerk voters out of. Oh. Those were some of the relocated ones. Relocated. So we ran a supplemental poll book when we found out about this, and those people were in the correct area. Uh, we sent them the postcard. They went where we told them to, but their name wasn't in the poll book. So we were able to correct that for the, any voters from Clark that came after that. And those were provisional, and they should count because that was our error of going to the wrong place. We had one person that intentionally went to the wrong place because they didn't want to go to the poll, <laughs> polling place they were supposed to. But and typically on a regular election if they voted the wrong poll site it might be a partial count sure. because you can only count the things that are the same however in this election everything was the same so that one we're recommending would be would be counted we had one voter that came and voted early it was provisional and the name was not in the poll book uh, when we researched that we found out the person was not registered um, and so that one should not have counted however that there was some chaos happening in the hallway and the supervising judge on duty did not have the voter put the ballot in the envelope and so he cast it directly into the ballot can so that one we couldn't it has to count because okay. of uh, basically poll worker error so uh some that that's that happens occasionally and so uh, that one even though i would recommend it not count it it's already counted and it's in these results um, and that person is now registered so <laughs> Uh, but that was one uh, anomaly of the election that we need to be aware of, okay? Uh, let's see. We did have a uh, couple of equipment things. We had a paper jam, a couple paper jams on one of, on the uh, touchscreen device um, that did not affect any voted ballots. We were able to redirect the voter if they voted their ballot, and we were able to clear the blank cards out of those that equipment. So. Um, 
and we are scheduled for maintenance on those this year so they'll go through everything and make sure that everything is like all the rollers are cleaned inside and everything so uh, we did have one uh, issue during tabulation on one batch uh, the scanner stopped reading and it went kept sending everything to the top which was not processed uh, that was solved just by it must have had something on the wounds of the camera so we cleaned that cleared that batch out which is a great thing we could do with this we ran it uh, and it worked perfectly all of our numbers still matched um, that's why we save batches regularly and mm -hmm. keep track of a number of batches and then we also balance that back to how many voters and how many ballots that the poll site says they brought brought in so we know that we had the appropriate number of ballots that were counted so there's a procedure for all of those things. Um, but I just wanted to make you aware of that. Um, we talked about we'll pull back. We did have a um, kind of just a matter of interest about the um, the school and how some of their um, materials that were advocating for a mobile were distributed. Uh, there was a call from a reporter asking questions and so I I didn't I, I, I proceeded to research the matter and so that information is all in the reports um, what I found out basically is that the school did not break any uh, specific statutes there is an attorney general's opinion that uh, is just an opinion but it is something that we, we would definitely want them to try to follow and so um, following up with it and that was about um, the distribution of those materials from their facilities uh, I did find out that the, the materials were not paid for by public funds it was all private donations and there is a statute that requires those groups to, to submit a report to uh, so that talk, outlines who the donors were and expenditures and I do have that on file in my office now. And so, um, and they had already stopped <coughs> distributing those signs from school facilities before I even called them. So, uh, anyway, all of that research is in your report. And um, so, a government matter, school bond or school deal, can be supported by private donations. It has to be. Mm -hmm. Right. So. School can't, say school, school, school can't, can't lobby for their own can't do interest. lobbying to say vote yes. They can provide okay. information about yeah. it as a neutral right, right, capacity, okay. but they can't say vote yes or vote okay. no. And so, vote um, yes. okay. according to that attorney general opinion, the statute is very clear that they cannot that it's prohibited in support of a candidate, okay. but it's silent when it comes to the matter of a question. Okay. And so okay. that's where that attorney general opinion came in, and um, the they were just unaware, yeah. you know, uh, but all of that so has So even been, if there's an attorney, uh, attorney general's opinion. That's not law. Could it still be appealed that the election was not handled in a fair or wise manner because of distribution of materials? Well, um, that's a separate matter as far from the administration of the election. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm, I'm just curious if an opinion held enough weight that it would circumvent ever being a, an appeal. I, I you don't I know until that. Can't answer that. that. Yeah, it, that it would only be able does, to be tested by a court law, I think. So, uh, but anyway, that's how how that all went. Does um, so anybody have any questions? I did have someone else call and ask why they didn't have who paid for those yard signs on the yard signs oh. mm -hmm. and I said well yard signs are exempt from that requirement but I at least that was my recollection you know at the time but I hadn't researched it recently so the the person wasn't really satisfied with that so I just you know basically anytime someone feels that uh, if they think a crime has actually been committed then the appropriate person to contact is law enforcement and because I'm not and able to enforce or anything like that on, on the legal side uh, but I did go ahead and research it and the, the statute does specifically exempt that disclosure on yard signs and bumper stickers uh, there's a few things that are exempt from it if it's like an advertisement or in the paper or 
uh, something distributed by the mail, those things that are printed are supposed to have that disclosure of who paid for it. So that's um, mm -hmm. just, uh, that's, that was actually a Kansas administrative regulation. <laughs> so where I found that. So, a lot of research. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, basically in front of you, you have the uh, election night. These are the preliminary results at the mm -hmm. end of the night. This does not include the hand count, which we will put in next. So that would be the next step. Uh, then uh, we'd have a motion and a vote to uh, count the provisionals, and uh, and then we will open those, count those, and add those results in. I thought we could just use this paper. Um, make it. It should be very, very simple. Just yes. add the yeses and the noes. Yes. Um, and then. All that we would have left would be to certify the official results once we have that total, which, and then sign off. So it should be fairly very good. Simple. Uh, right. motion to count the provisionals. Well, let's get our hand on Okay, so we do have one. Uh, this morning, Michelle cleared all results from the from the equipment, so that all when we run the provisionals, that's all that you will have. And this is that zero report showing that right now the totals on the equipment are zero. This is the hand count book from election night. There were two hand counted ballots. The way we do that is we have two people writing, one person reading, and so these are both persons' records uh, so that you can verify that they match. So we will read this vote one time only, <laughs> not two times. So there are two ballots, and um, hopefully you can see that, and we'll kind of add those in. So, those are two separate person's tallies of the same two ballots. Oh, okay. So on there, I don't know if you can you should be able to tell that the yes has one additional vote and the no has one additional vote. And that, that's confirmed um, by the two people that were writing and then the supervising judge also in the Oh, there's some scratch outs down there. Mm -hmm. Some scratch out down there. I do that. Mm -hmm. Put it in the wrong place. So, so We just need to, if you're all comfortable with that, add one to the yes line and one to the no line for the hand counts. Okay, and then the next uh, matter would be to accept the three provisionals that have not yet been counted. Motion by Commissioner Gehring. Is there a second? Second, Commissioner Crowfoot. Questions on provisionals? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, opposed nay. Motion carried by Okay. Do have the googly eye open? Yep. <laughs> I want to watch it. It has to face this way.
Randall's. Sorry. <laughs> to uh, certify the results and then I'll have to sign off. We have a motion to certify the results of the election. I so move. Is there a second? Second. I second. Commissioner Crowfoot second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion very final. I will put this, I will print this out on the correct paper um, with those numbers. You can wait for me to do that before you sign, or you're welcome to sign with this. That's a good
sign first. Here we go. Okay. Put them in super serious. Yeah. That's it. Well, I want to thank the clerk and the elections office for all their work and the poll workers. Yeah. We appreciate it. And with that, uh, I guess I adjourn the uh, special meeting and we'll be back for our county commission meeting at 1230. conference will now be recorded. Okay, we'll do the flag salute again. It's a patriotic day. Yeah. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> Welcome everyone to the May 15th Grand County Commission meeting we begin with public forum is there anyone here who'd like to make public comments yes i would okay come up to the uh, <coughs> microphone have a seat the microphone back tom it's getting close to you what this microphone pull the, the microphone yeah. 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 That's kind of there you go. yeah yeah <coughs> it's not loaded <laughs> what <coughs> so uh, tom Brenton Florence. Uh, on or about the morning of march 22nd a windmill company uh, company semis loaded with boulders that were dynamited out of the once beautiful Flint Hill, not now, but uh, sped past my home. I called the sheriff's office to report the crime as they were <coughs> hauling over small culverts and a 15 ton limit bridge. These trucks weighed 30 to 40 tons. They also hauled on the <coughs> hauled on the Wheeler Road, which is 140th, uh, with signs that read no construction traffic. They drove by about every 10 to 15 minutes. I would guess they made at least 50 trips. Uh, Sheriff's, off, uh, Sheriff's dispatcher contacted me with a deputy suggested I call the road engineer. <clears throat> I told him I might as well stick my head out the window. Uh, then he suggested I uh, suggested my county commissioner and I didn't, I won't tell you what I said there, but uh, any in this room probably understands but for that. <clears throat> Uh, the deputy asked me what I wanted him to do. I said, I want you to enforce the law. Uh, called road, uh, road and Bridge next day. The, uh, the calling had not stopped and did the little afternoon. <clears throat> now the Brinley Road is so tore up, you have to drive down the middle to get to, to, uh, the, uh, the road, uh, uh, middle of the road. Is the county going to uh, hold a horse to the candle to fix these roads? Uh, there's also damage in Florence, and they, the, their trucks run over curb and guttering uh, in Florence with their water trucks. Uh, Horstead's an overseas company that's been accused of killing whales on the East Coast, and now they're set up to possibly kill eagles, bats, and other birds in the Flint Hills. This foreign co company controls Marion County land. They control the energy. They get the tax of the day of, uh, I guess, not $35 million, because that's what I got sued for, for that. Uh, that's when the uh, conditional use permits for the Doyles expire. We'll talk about that today, later day. That was the amount I was sued for. All the electricity goes out of, the Mar of Marion County. And now Evergreen wants to raise electric rates 14% to pay for this and, and other projects infrastructure. You've ruined my property and my neighbor's property. You've turned neighbors into enemies and you have decimated Highway 77 with high voltage transmission lines. And so I ask you if you're gonna fix the roads or not, and thank you for your time. Okay, any other public comments? If not, we'll move into agenda approval. I believe there's a couple of changes. Uh, EMS, Kurt Hasser will be in for department business. And we will also add a slot for a county engineer discussion. It looks like we have a full administrative, so we'll, we'll take up that issue uh, after the county turn. Any, any other additions to the agenda? If not, we'll move into administrative business.
we already held the canvas and my election summary report is in your packet um, with all the matters of interest and all of the information from the election. Again, I want to thank the clerk's office and the election officials for a job well done. Thank you. Volunteers that oh the that poll workers because yes. poll workers yes. I mean you yeah. did that the first time this morning yeah. but yeah. Uh, without yeah. them yeah. we can't have elections yeah. so. absolutely county clerk the election officials and the poll workers thank you okay I do have the minutes of May eighth move to approve we have a motion from Commissioner Gehring to approve is there a second second, second. Commissioner Becker all those in favor say aye aye, aye. all those nay. <coughs> Motion carried 5 0. We do have one early check, and this is coming from the Leadership Fund. It's for admission to the um, Mennonite Heritage Museum in Gossel, which is where we, uh, the group went during this last session. Any questions for admission? If not, is there a motion to approve? $36 early check. Okay. Yeah. Second. Motion by Commissioner Gehring, second by Commissioner Balke. Discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, nay. <clears throat> motion carried 5 0. And speaking of leadership, um, next, this coming Thursday, the 18th, is the uh, final gathering of this class. It's their graduation celebration. It's, it, it'll be held at the Branding Iron Restaurant, Florence, uh, beginning at 5.30. And um, so commissioners are welcome to attend, um, but we do, do need to know if you, if you want to attend, because we have to turn in the RSVP today. So. Anybody have thoughts or think that they may be attending? All right, will you bring anyone with you? Thursday evening. It's this Thursday. The 18th. Okay. 5.30. In Florence. So. 1. Okay. I'll let you know. Okay. Tomorrow or something. I think. Well, it's got to be today. If you could let me know, like, later today, that would be helpful. Okay. Because we need to turn in our reservations. So. I appreciate the offer, but I know with my job this year that I will be doing other things. Okay. All right. Aren't you, aren't you retired? That means I'm he's got more work. <laughs> <laughs> that is his job. I mean, this, this, this time of the year is, is supposed to be your <laughs> busy time. It's going to be rainy all week. Well, they say Thursday, too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you for that. I will let Ashley know she's working on that today. So, okay, let's see. Doesn't want to play nice for some reason. Maybe that's the end of the packet. It is. <laughs> The rest that's, is all new. That's additions. hilarious. Okay. What you doing, what you enjoy. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So uh, we can go ahead and start with. So Isaac is here. Mm -hmm. We can go ahead and start with the proposal that you have on the table there from uh, Sustainable Environmental Consultants. And Isaac, would you want to come up to the microphone in case there's any questions? This would be for oversight of the actual work on the. Did, did you uh, look at this and, and think that it covered what we need to be, have covered? It? I yeah, I know, like, the, to start off, the big thing was the stir, uh, the surveying, uh, getting everything staked out as far as what needs to be done and, and where. Um, and I mean, the, the construction inspections of everything, uh, I know that he said once they start bringing out material, he wants to inspect that material to make sure it is what we're needing. Um, 
and then I think the the main thing, yeah, the, the checkout and then the sign off uh, for for both the contractor and and DWR there on that permit. So uh, what's the uh, tentative finish date? It's so project. The tentative, according to the initial bid, it's the end of end of August. Okay, is so when the project has been honoring the proposal through December 31st. Yes. I just wanted to make sure. Was <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, the end is uh, open according to the according to the initial bid contractors. Uh, work was to begin the beginning of June and has to be completed by the, the end of August. And I have not issued a notice to proceed yet. I did notify the bidders of who the successful bidder was, but we have not issued a notice to proceed because I was waiting for this okay. to be approved. Okay. Um, if as we get in the middle of the project and things happen, yep. more construction inspection sites visits. Did, is there a need to discuss that now, or wait till it happens and then discuss it? Well, they have it in here as an additional nine hundred dollars. Oh, for visit yeah. as, as a maximum. That's maximum. Okay, if if we needed them to come more often okay yeah it's capped at nine okay okay good that's that's, that's good it's already in there. yeah that's that's just something that happens that's right got one good for that one already that, but I didn't use that way <laughs> <laughs> good to know ahead of time okay okay other questions for isaac if not i move to go ahead with the proposal from S sustainable environmental consultants in the amount of nine thousand dollars second Second from Commissioner Gehring. Other discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carried 5 0. We appreciate that. I think that gives the county a lot more comfort yeah. in the project. Uh, he's done so much of the legwork getting us to this point. Yeah. Get it across the finish line. Plus, Perfect. Then comes up from the state. Perfect. We've, we've got a translator. Yes. Perfect. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you, Isaac. Hey, thank you. And then, Tina, you can go ahead with the notice proceeds. All right, on the table you have uh, transport fuel bids. Uh, you have a bid from MFA Oil and one from F Service. Washington with MFA Oil on a low bid, $24,055. Right, motion from Commissioner uh, Gearing, second from Commissioner Becker to go with MFA Oil's low bid. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed say nay. Motion carried 5 0. On the table, you have budget allocation requests uh, for this current year's budget. So, usually we have you, uh, so during the budget process of uh, preparing this year's budget, we had all the entities that came in requested. <coughs> And then we have the amounts that were actually put into the budget, but typically we would, uh, in January, February, come in and verify and have you actually formally approve the payment of these. And so that has not happened yet this year. Um, even though it's budgeting, I'd like to get your formal okay to, to say, yes, we're going to pay these amounts or to change the amount. So these are the actual, uh, what was put into the budget and what was requested. And so questions. Is there a motion to proceed with the budget allocation request on sales tax in general? So moved. Motion from Commissioner Gehring. Is there a second? I'll second. Second, Commissioner Crowfoot. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say nay. Motion carried 5 0. And so just to clarify, as specified, as, specified. as budgeted, yes. we're going to pay those. Okay. Call them. All right. Yep. As Thank budgeted. you. Thank you. have the um, cereal malt beverage license for last chance bait. Um, we did, you previously approved the township notice. We did not receive any correspondence or protest from the township and that time frame has expired. So now would be the official action to approve the cereal malt beverage license for last chance bait through December 31st, 2023. 
Okay, is there a motion to approve? So a motion by Commissioner Gehring. Is there a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Crowfoot. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed say nay. Is that a, uh, aye or nay? Aye. Okay. <laughs> motion carried five. Minutes. On the table there, um, you have a summary. I have, uh, I need to purchase three computers this year, and so I do have quotes. I've got the actual quotes here if you want to look at them, but I just summarized on the sheet that you have there on the table. Um, I would like to go with the Lenovo Think Center at uh, $1,035.59 each, so three of those. Move to go with the recommendation. A motion from Commissioner Gehring and a second from Commissioner Becker. Proceed with the recommendation. Discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say nay. Motion carried 5 0. Okay, thank you. I do have a salary sheet uh, for Curtis Oslin in the ambulance department, and he is, I believe, a yeah, paramedic. And this is same as what we had done previously, so that he's bringing in a couple steps lower and then bumping it with performance. Gotcha. And he's bumping it at three months. And as, as Tina stated, you know, Curtis Oslin in the ambulance from 1808 per hour to 1890 an hour, three month raise for satisfactory performance, two step increase. to briefly give you an update we do have the numbers back for the sale of surplus county property <laughs> as you know it was not well attended we only there were only like 27 or 28 numbers issued so we did receive a check uh, well no. don't get too yeah. excited oh, we have we also received a bill we did also, yeah. well so we received a check of proceeds of one that one thousand one hundred four fifteen, mm -hmm. and I've got the documentation here of the items sold and and um, the expenses really to the sale. But that does not include the expense of the actually move, removing the items from the attic and transporting them and making trips to the trash or trips to the building. So those were those hours were accounted for separately, and the bill for the was three thousand eight hundred ten dollars. So we have actually, basically, we accomplished clearing out a big portion of the attic at a cost to the county of two thousand seven hundred and five dollars and eighty five cents. So that's a, that's a positive spin. <laughs> <laughs> it, it needed done. Yeah, you know, I mean, nobody had time to do it, so yeah, they have a thousand dollars taken off to get it's it. Probably it's probably a good deal. Yeah, yeah, think exactly. of the savings. So, Staff. No, anyway, that's. Does anybody want to? If you, I'll pass this around. If you all want to look at anything at any time before you leave, then what, what you, you, you missed? That. Yeah, you might have missed a real bargain. You could have watched it. Nineteen. Yeah, there was a matrix printer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, floppy drive. Okay, and the time. Um, might have had some computer chips in it. You could have sold before. Yeah. And could have bought you a new truck. Or we did not have the, the correct people in attendance to benefit from getting <laughs> that old equipment. I was, I was still <laughs> rushing to get back to Goodland, so I couldn't even <laughs> So that's, uh, that's what I have. Still a worthy project. Very good. Thank you, Tina. All right, Joel, appreciate you coming in today. Yeah, thank you. Oh. So just for, I guess, a couple of things to... Um, discussed 
that I was going to talk about. Mm -hmm. um, there was a discussion about storage yes. for the boxes that we have. Mm -hmm. um, I also wanted to talk about I have a, a case that got sent back from the Attorney General's office um, that I'm needing to hire probably some outside help in order to prosecute that case. And then um, just some a cartel that we're going live in August. So just talk about the storage okay. first and mm -hmm. foremost. What um, I had some emails with Tina a little mm -hmm. bit um, about different kinds of storage options that we have there, or where what we need. I mean, getting the boxes that we have down at Road, Road and Bridge, and then the boxes that are up in the attic. Mm -hmm. A large portion of those are going to be able to be digitized. It's just either hiring somebody to do that right. um, or what we need to do to, to get that done. Yeah. The space that we have currently, I don't know where we're going to put them. My hope was when we moved over there to be able to take all of those boxes with us, but I don't know where where we would put them. I guess could you start the process of the documents you have to save and, and, uh, and design storage for those in the annex? Yeah, I think trying to figure out which ones those are, where those right. are, and pulling those out. I mean, that's, that's the going to be a process. We could do, we could do that. Uh, then once once you have that sorting done, then you know what needs to be digitized, and we can tackle that. Okay. So maybe if this sounds like a process to at least first do the the sorting, determine which, and then you know how many files do need to be stored. Then maybe we can come up with together. We can come up with a storage system that would work. Okay. We talked to any companies that do the digitizing. I have not. I think we want to leave that in the wheelhouse over uh, here. Uh, Register of Deeds used a company to digitize. Okay. A few years, a couple of years ago, two three years ago. I almost wonder if it would be better just to find a way to store it all, and then it's over there, and it takes less time to figure out. This is digitized, this isn't. The thing is, there's not enough space to store everything over there. There's a lot. And that's where you could design the storage system for what you need. Yeah. Is where I was trying to go with it. Rather than move everything over and then you get rid of a bunch of it. Because I don't think there's going to be a lot of cases that we're going to have to keep when there's not going to be enough. Okay. By and large, wouldn't be those files that we need to keep paper right. copies. <laughs> and the sorting process is going to have to happen. And that's something that you can't just hire someone to, to sort what needs to be saved. It's going to take staff time to. Yeah, and I can figure that. That wouldn't be a hard thing to do. Okay. And as going forward, are you are you scanning and digitizing? So these are all just old records? Or, or are we, have we got to a starting point? Or we will in August. Okay. 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 That's a, the new system. The new system uh, that we're okay. going live with in August okay. will be digitizing pretty much everything. Okay. Okay. Um, and so then we'll be transitioning from paper to everything being digital. Okay, so we only have to work backwards from August. That, right. That, that's, <laughs> that's great news. <laughs> <laughs> the so pile will not grow yes. right. as much. Shouldn't be growing too much here. Okay. But the stuff up upstairs could stay for a while. Well, it's going to be just first sorted. We can work on the office first to get it cleaned out. I mean, you got still got stuff in the office. Which, the Broden Bridge? No. 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 Here? There's nothing, nothing up here. Downstairs. Oh, there, oh just, yeah. just downstairs. Downstairs yeah. and attic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What's left in there now is register deeds. I think that's all our books. Yeah, Treasures. 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 I'm sorry. Does that sound like a plan of attack? Yeah. Okay. Work with Tina. Yeah. We'll figure that out. What we need to keep, and then I don't think there would be a lot that we're going to have to, but we can pull those over sure. on our side and then figure out. <laughs> The amount that we have left. Right. But yeah, we can do that. That's Commissioner Gearing said we've got a lot of stuff that needs to be digitized, but we just we've got to get started. Yeah, we've got to figure out a county wide yeah. plan of attack. Just everybody's gonna take their turn running through the middle. And as, as you said, if we can just stop adding to it, that'll yeah, that'll really help. Okay. We're getting there. All right, and then the next one was to eat some the So we have there was a the way the attorney general's office the switch um, with the new attorney general. There was some people that left. I don't know. I don't think the two are related. I don't want to be saying that, but um, just people left from their criminal division. How their criminal division works is each of them have 
oh, maybe 15 or so cases, but they're all high-level cases. I mean, they're doing their capital cases, murder cases, um, child sex cases, Jessica's law cases, the, the cases that involve a lot of time. Um, the case that got sent back, it's the juvenile trial that um, has been going on for about 2014 was when the accusations happened. So I mean, it's, it's coming up on a long time. So it got sent back to me from the Attorney General's office. They weren't able to do it anymore because they have, I think, only two or three individuals left in their criminal division. Um, so I'm needing to find somebody to have co-counsel at the very least to do that. Um, a two week long trial, I don't know what our um, special prosecution rate is. We're looking at two weeks of trial, I'm thinking probably $100 an hour is I think the bids rate currently, the Board of Defense Services. During trial, you're probably working 10 hours a day. Um, so for 10 days on that, I mean, that's about that's just for for trial itself the, the prep coming up to that is another <laughs> probably about the same um, work, not a work on trial mm -hmm. maybe double so the state's not spending people. this money on these people are they kicking anything back <laughs> say that again is the state not going to kick any money back if they're not going to spend the money on these people anymore I, no another unfunded mandate uh, and I just can't do a two-week long trial. No, no, by myself. I got. I, 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 what's the process? What do we need to do to support? It wasn't really budgeted. This gotcha thing here. So I mean, it, it, I'm frugal to go out and I've talked to somebody already that I think would be a, a good fit mm -hmm. doing that, <laughs> doing that. Um, and just just as that's coming, I guess I don't know. Right. I don't know what the process I need to do. Really, um, it's going to exceed budget, so we're going to have to do a little. It's a, it'd, be, it'd be a, con a contractual um, agreement, and it's really, I don't think the commission has to do anything because okay. it's necessary. Um, okay. He's going to have to do it. So just him making you aware of it is, since it does affect the budget, I think okay. it's, it's informational. I mean, I don't believe you have to take an action. Does that seem right? That's right. No, that's Jules. Yeah. <laughs> Whether he wants it or not. So, yeah. Why is Avenue to request money from the state? <laughs> if this was he may, I mean, no, no. it depends on how he ends up at the end of the year. I mean, he is in the general fund. He may not go over budget. I mean, we'll just have to see. It depends on what other expenditures he may have and contractually. Gonna, so. The contractual that, and with Carpel coming on, and that's going to be another, that's a big contractual that we're going to have. So, I mean, that's. Not normal things that have happened right. right. um, in the previous years. This is not first to uh, remember the accidents and stuff on Highway 50, mm -hmm. the construction. Those accidents all happened in our county. And when that happened, the county attorney has to take care of all the. There was a lot of, uh, lot of expense with those accidents and things. So the budget, I mean, it comes out of the general fund, where it usually comes out of. Yeah. yeah. And, so. and there's nothing that you have to do because if. If he goes over from what he's authorized to spend, it's st he's still in the general funds. Okay. Well, our general holds up. Well, appreciate you sharing the bad news. With us. <laughs> it, would, it would seem, though, though, if the attorney general's office is going to start turning more and more of this back to the county, there may need to be some legislative action to get some reimbursement for the county because yeah. some, some of this stuff can get huge. And it, like I said, it's just another unfunded mandate. Yeah. You know, our governor's sitting up there with a huge budget surplus that she thinks she needs to hold on to. So, well, maybe we need to talk to our legislators. Attorney General, we'll give them a call. All right, uh, anything else first, Joel? Not really, just still like long prosecuting. I don't know if you guys had any questions about anything. Is there any others that you may see coming our way that you know of? No. Okay. <laughs> yes. <coughs> As of one o'clock. And yeah, I think that was really the, it's happened to different counties um, yeah. that I'm aware of. So it's just. Will this go to trial this year? <laughs> I don't know. I would think would be my guess where we are with everything. Um, I mean, it's been. 
delays, I think, mainly attributable to, to the defense coming up to this point, but it's now on me, trying to get caught up to speed and, and what, what I need to do. Well, if there's no other questions, we appreciate it, Joel. All right, thank you all. Thanks. And good luck. Thank you. Yeah. Sirens. It wasn't your sirens. I heard sirens. It was ours, but it wasn't yeah. me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, we are ready. Oh, you're ready for me? So perfect timing. Oh, I we won't let you catch your breath. Thought I was last time. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna put you before Brad. Is that gonna be a while? You never know. Well, up front, I do apologize. I did not plan on being here today to do this. This was something I was planning on doing. Um, like a month or two. Just right take now. one and pass it Take around. one and pass it down. Okay. Uh, basically, I come before you today, we've kind of run into a little bit of dire straits. Uh, starting Friday night, uh, we've gone down two ambulances and we have a third one that is starting to say, I don't want to work anymore either. Um, what I hand up to you is basically what we have uh, going on right now. Uh, right now, Peabody does not even have an ambulance. It is now the primary in Hillsboro. Uh, the Hillsboro unit is out of service until June 8th. They cannot get parts for it. Uh, the Marion truck seems to have ongoing issues. Our backup, the air conditioner is out, and you can see the costs involved uh, at this point. Uh, this weekend, we got to uh, this the point where we had to call Mound Ridge over to do our 911 calls because we did not have an ambulance available. Um, presently, the COVID truck, I guess if you want to call it that, is still scheduled to come in October and just by chance this morning I did some looking got a phone call back we have a stock unit we could basically have tomorrow if we want it uh, we did budget approximately and Tina you might want to make sure I got these numbers right 270,000 for a new truck this year um, the one that is sitting up in Iowa is approximately $189,000 and it's ready to go minus uh, some of the stuff we'd have to add, which would be probably thirty to thirty-five thousand dollars for load system, lettering, and then narcotics boxes. Uh, but otherwise, it should be up to standard um, and ready. Um, That's a used unit, right? What's that? Is that a used unit? That is a new one. That's a new one. And it's the last one on the lot. It's the only one I've been able to find. What brand is it? Um, Two options right now. The one that's ready to go now would be a Chevy, but it, uh, everything is full uh, warranty. I guess I should hand that out to you. <laughs> uh, full warranty on it. Um, it's not like said, what we maybe wanted to build ourselves, but it's what we need. Uh, they do have, if we can't get this one, he did tell me they have one that's in production that will be done by the end of the week at the Ford approximately the same cost, but it has a uh, proposal on purchase for it already, but nothing's confirmed. Um, with all the issues we have going on, uh, the situation we're in, I'm kind of asking if we can maybe see if we can purchase this. I know typically we have to do bids, uh, but new trucks are three to four years out, and I do not find any other units sitting on a lot anywhere that are ready to go. Gasoline too. You're not going to have we your injector issues and all that stuff. So the, the total you said the, the outright cost was 187. 
189 and approximately 30 to 35,000 in additions that we would have to okay. put into it. So over just 225. So just over 200. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what are, the, what are we budget? 270. 270, I believe. So it's got well below budget. Below budget. So it's a box? It is a box, just like Same. we have now. I mean, is a box a box or is it different? Different grades? No, they're pretty much a box is a box. Um, this company I've dealt with in the past, it's been quite a while. Um, they're very reputable, very good. They stand behind their work. Put good hinges and locks. They put, yeah, everything is good on it. I've talked to people who have bought from them recently and they've had no issues with their stuff. The only issue they've had, they, were, they fixed. So on the price sheet, you've got 180. That's 180. Did I put 180? No, that's 179. Oh, 179. So apparently my fingers don't talk right. <laughs> so. Not 189, it's 179. 179. Well, better yet, better. Well, either way, we're still in the same. Well, like I was saying, <laughs> we're, we're getting closer to two yes. instead of over two. Boy, or over three. Even though we budget 270 still. Do you have any concerns about the unit? I haven't physically seen it, but knowing what I know about the company and right. then talking with other people, right. I do not. Okay. Is this a good engine and transmission should mix? I mean, yes. Everybody has an opinion. Right. Ford and Chippy. <laughs> Six point six liter. Our other Chevys are diesel. All our Chevys are diesel. And right now, um, at this point since April, we've had a unit in the shop every week. Uh, we're probably two thousand dollars a month on maintenance. Uh, some of it's routine, but it's starting to become non-routine. Um, both of these ambulances are pushing 140,000 miles, if not over. They're tired, they're end of life. That's um, sad for a diesel engine. You ought to get 350,000 out of a diesel engine. Yeah, but they run all the time, and then leave it idle. Yeah, but then it's also the, the foot in the floor. You're trying to get somewhere. That cuts off a lot of life off a of diesel, mm -hmm. blowing smoke. Going from a cold start to running high the floor. Um, we're past the nickel and dime point. Like I said, I really did not anticipate having to come here today to see if we could do something because I just everything hit this weekend. Does it have an anti deer option on it? Um, I've talked to that driver and he <laughs> won't get anymore. Get that what? <laughs> I don't know how he can guarantee that. One, one, <laughs> one of the trucks had to go to the shop because of a deer. Yeah. Yeah. And some of the issues we're having. Put a cable cord on the front. Yeah, we got a set of blow Yeah. And I can't remember which unit it is right off the top of my head, but we've had to replace tires twice uh, in December and then last month. We haven't put that many miles on. It's just these trucks are not right. Yeah, they're too heavy in the front end, chopping some, the front. It's chopping the tires yeah. and they're blowing. And, uh, I think you guys went by us one day, yes. yeah, and that cool. caused a lot of damage to the truck too. Yeah, I, it actually peeled the wheel, uh, wheel well up and off. So yeah, a couple of trucks that had to add weights to the back just mm -hmm. to keep them from chopping. So you so say issue. it's a design issue? No, uh, it's just a it's just a front end diesel heavy, yeah, um, some heavy engine. Yeah. So, but you can help with the issue by putting weight and add back. ballast to the back. Is, pull, it might be it worth looking into on the other units that if there's a it's, it's probably a alignment issue already. And we've had alignments, we've had rotations, and it yeah. still just eats tires up. Yeah. It shouldn't be doing it regardless of these trucks. I mean, there's other trucks right. on the road that don't have that problem. Right. So I don't know why we're having such a problem. Okay. Well, back to the issue at hand. Uh, uh, I think we should move forward with this. Okay. I'll make that motion. Or give Kurt the authority to go buy the 2023 Chevrolet G4500 Type 3 Aero Ambulance. And if by chance somebody gets to it before us, do we want to look at that Ford as a backup purchase? Which basically it's going to be the same box, just a different chassis. And they kind of said it's first come, first serve. It's, it's a dog eat dog roll right now. So you've got speed dial. Uh, I've already talked to the dealer and said I could be up tomorrow. <laughs> what's, what's the price point on that Ford? Approximately the same. Um, I'll, make it, I'll make it to where, um, not, that not, not to exceed $185,000 per annum. Yes. Yeah. Which, is this the price? 
179. Yeah. Right. Plus what they have to pay to do with it. Uh, it would be the 179. My fingers just didn't type right, apparently. Yeah. I caught that earlier. Yeah, I saw that, heard that, but I thought it was 189, not 179. No, that's one, 179. Right. Yeah. 179. He mistyped on that. Yes. So so the other one. This is the yeah, dealer. Yes, yeah. this is directly from them. Yeah. Okay. So that's I give it. Got it. My motion is advised <laughs> not to exceed 185,000. Either one. In search of an ambulance. And so if you can get this one, great. If not, you want to exceed the 185 on the next. I saw a second. Okay, we have a motion from Commissioner Gehring and a second from Commissioner Crowfoot. More discussion. I just want to know why we're not fixing this one of the Hillsborough units. Uh, A2 is going in on Wednesday is the plan. Okay. And the other one, that's the one they cannot get to park for until June. On A5. On A5, correct. Okay. Other questions? Which one are you going to retire? <laughs> Probably, uh, I think four and four five are the ones that are scheduled to get replaced at this point this year. Well, keep them as standby if this is any indication. Yeah. We and we do, I do have plans to get this on rotation, but like I said, this kind of got pushed up way right. faster than I anticipated talking about it. So it's pretty hard to get anything on rotation when you order something that's two minimum right. or two years out. Yeah. And now we're three to four and it won't give us a price because it's so far out. I have no price. Okay, any other discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say nay. Motion carried 5 0. Good luck. Oh, you got make it. that call. Right. Make, make that, that call. call. Can, we, and, can we potentially get another motion that if uh, the, the payment you know, might be an issue? Because okay. if he. If he needs, if he's going to get it, and he can go get it tomorrow, oh, he's I probably going to need a need check. Payment, yes. And oh. so, can we authorize? Yes. Can the board authorize payment of such, um, if needed, before the next meeting? Yes, I would so move to authorize the payment. Second, uh, second from Commissioner Becker. Discussion. Only other thing is, that we do have one budgeted this year. That's correct. We might not be doing this. Right. Other discussion. Not all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. Motion carried 5 0. Thank you, Tina, for catching that. Yeah. So that then we could do an early check outside yeah. the meeting, and then yep. since you've already pre approved, yep. then we can just ratify yep. it at the next meeting. Put that credit card. That's out. I'll, I'll get on the <laughs> phone with the yeah, and I'll probably come back <laughs> and let you know. Thank you. <laughs> we don't want to wire it today. We don't want to wire it. Yeah. Uh, we right. don't want to lose it. No, I don't. <laughs> all right. We'll let you get to it. All right. Thank you, Kurt. Thank you. For your phone. Um, if they have any extras, I don't know if they have any extra in there. Is there an extra handout hand for her? Oh, uh, no, I brought one extra. I think I grabbed it. I'm sorry. Ah. Thank you. All right. Is All right, uh, let's move into the county engineer discussion. Uh, I think the words are already out on the street. Uh, the uh, county engineer presented a letter of resignation last week, but we did not take action on it until he could talk to his employees. He has talked to his employees, so now we have the letter of resignation. Thank you, motion to accept his letter of resignation. Thank you. July 5th, I believe. Except the resignation as of now. Right? Yeah. Oh. Like, how about if I read the letter? Yeah. Okay. Is that all right? Yeah. Sorry, I just made a couple of copies. Of it. There's one for you and Tina and one for, for Phyllis. Um, this is from Bryce Google. When I started this position four years ago, I had high hopes and aspirations to make Road and Bridge Department and Grand County as a whole better than it was and set it on a path of improvement and success. Obviously, I am happy to say that we have made some improvements. More rock on the ground, some major road projects, near final completion of another wind turbine project, and purchase of newer and better equipment are just a few of the good things. Morale seems to be improving within the department, and the Pub Works program will improve coordination and communication into the future. Even with these improvements, the stress of the position has become too much for me and my family. 
I have found a better opportunity, and after careful and thoughtful consideration, I will be resigning my position as county engineer, effective July 5th, 2023. I feel this gives an adequate time for better transition and allows the commission to find another engineer. Thank you for the opportunity to work in Marion County for the last four years. Respectfully, Price School. Make a motion to accept his resignation. All right, we have a motion from Commissioner Dalkey, second. second from Commissioner Becker. All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say nay. <coughs> motion carried. So I guess the next part of the discussion then is to start the process, does the county commission simply want to fill the position as it is structured now? Or does the commission want to make some changes to the position? I think we just need to look for a department head. I don't know. Do, we need, a, do we need a full-blown engineer? engineer deal? I, I don't. I don't think we need to look for an engineer. I think we need to look for a department head. That's my opinion. I don't expect any decisions today, but I want the commission to give that consideration, and we can maybe we'll put it on the agenda for next week. Who mm -hmm. Well, that's the de decision needs to be made. How does Marion County want to proceed? How do the commissioners want to proceed? What kind of job description do we want? Right. And first off, we've got one commissioner that wants to take county engineer completely out of the picture. And there's pros and cons. Yeah. I mean, the two of you have been through this entire process. Yeah. So you've been through the discussion. And now we've seen it in operation for four years. I'm just before we start advertising, I want to make sure the commission is on board on which direction they want to go for replacement. So I'm not saying pro or con either way. I'm just saying. Yeah, let's start talking way. about next week. Okay. Because it's a lot to think about. This engineer's position was recommended to us by constituents in our county. That's what they was pushing for. And they didn't think we could hire a road superintendent qualified I think you can probably I, I don't want to rule anything out but I think I don't know what will come out so uh, I think we have to look at every possibility we probably can to, to fill the position and move forward but if a good person comes in don't have that title on them I don't want to stop it I mean if, if, if they've got some experience years experience good backing no reason why we shouldn't move ahead. Uh, as of now, unless something pops up, we don't have anybody that's really going to step up as a, as a department leader. So I think we have a good man in the position he's in, but I, I would bet that we'll probably still hear from that gentleman that that's where he likes to be. So uh, I think we need to work with him, bring him in, and talk to him, see how see how we can work with this. We got. 30 days, or no, not too much more, 30, 40 days, and, and the lead will be gone. So how are we gonna handle that? That needs to be right. looked at and see how we can work with anybody that's on board. So a critical issue right now is we have so many major projects going. A lot. We a lot. have a lot of major projects going. Um, Somebody yeah. left over soon. Yeah. One of the constituents had some issues here with roads and things like that. We've left, as of right now, it's a whole different world than what Kent and I dealt with with the project up north. We was in touch with them quite regularly, one way or the other. Uh, personally, none of us have been here and been in touch with the leadership from the wind farms. And I, I don't know that that's right. I think maybe we ought to make some contact now and see, how, see where we're at with it. We, ought, we need something. Okay, we'll put, up with. we'll put county engineer on the agenda for next week to discuss position and get a consensus from the commission how to proceed. And if there is some road issues, why who's going to take over and make that? Because we left it in Bryce's hands, mm -hmm. and that's in his hands. So, a lot of things to put on the agenda for for this. Right. I do want to mention though also um, previous road issues that have come up 
um, Sharon has also been yeah. instrumental in working with the, yeah. the company to make sure those are addressed when those have been reported. But if they're not reported, then yeah. so I'm. It, it has worked best when they've been reported jointly to Road and Bridge and Planning and Zoning. I will say that because the the direct contact from from Sharon has mostly been what has been getting those issues resolved of the ones that I'm aware of. So. Well, especially, especially since the construction part of it's going to be done here pretty soon, and they'll be packing out of here. And we've got. <clears throat> I mean, you'll have a project manager, but but uh, Sunflower. Highway 50 ups got two or three spots, or yeah. I mean, it's all been all started with with this. They they did one spot, but it's not much better than what the rest of it is right now. And, and if you saw the engineer's report, uh, that's scheduled for repair mid June. Right. Yeah, all of it, all the way from 50. They, the the repair is asphalt, and then the microsurfing after the repair. But we need to we need to see what they're going to contribute. Right. But there's other things as far as gravel roads that have already been signed off on. Been notified of some problems already, drainage issues. Those areas are already signed off on, so it's on us to handle them. The <coughs> plug. All right, Brad, what do you have for us? That's a long list. Well, and I really thought it was everything was kind of in other people's hands today. Yeah. I think that's why so it's such a it's not quite the case. Well, then hopefully we can resolve uh, some issues, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but you're rubbing your forehead. First, well, because they all came in this morning. Uh, the first one would be executive session for um, potential litigation. How long is that? Exactly? Uh, 15 minutes. <laughs> okay, I move we recess an executive session in order to discuss potential litigation <laughs> pursuant to KSA 75-4319B, item two, consultation with our attorney, attorney-client privilege with the commission, Brad and Tina for 15 minutes, 125 to 140. Sorry, uh, Second by Commissioner Malky. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those nay. Whatever your name is. Motion carried by a vote. This conference will now be recorded. All right, we are out of executive session, no decisions made, but we are going back in. This is for actual, not pending litigation. Or potential. Well, this is potential. No, this, was, uh, this is actual. Yes, yeah, yeah. the previous one was potential, this one was for actual. I move that we recess an executive session in order to discuss. Uh, this is the potential. This is no, this is actual. This is actual. actual. So you got me off. Actual Sorry. litigation. Pursuant to KSA 75-4319B, item two, consultation with our attorney, attorney-client privilege, with Commission Brad and Tina for 15 minutes, 140 to 155. Second. Second by Commissioner Gehring. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed say nay. Motion to carry five home. Be back at 155. This conference will now be recorded. All right, we are out of executive session. No decisions made. Uh, Sarah has joined us. Would you, do you have any words of wisdom you'd like to share? Uh, I need to give you some updates that happened this weekend. Okay. Just so you guys have it, but I'd like to do it executive over personnel. Okay. Uh, how long would you like? 10 minutes. 10. Okay. I move that we recess the executive session in order to discuss personnel. Pursuant to KSA 75 4319 b uh, item one, personnel matters, non elected personnel performance with commission, sheriff, Brad, and Tina for 10 minutes. Let's go from 156 to 206. Second. Second by Commissioner Gehring. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say nay. Motion carried 5 0. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. That's all they do is thank the races and fill us with the plan time. I can't figure out where this conference will now be recorded. All right, we're out of executive session. No decisions made. Thank you. We appreciate all of yep. you and your staff. Absolutely. Thank you. Yep. Seeing me at last minute. Yep. Have a good one. Yep. Always welcome. All right, uh, that concludes the agenda. Any commission comments? Um, 
kick on Marion County is great. Um, the the uh, we got three major trailer manufacturers in the county, and they uh, and in Rapid City over this last week, I seen two of the of the three trailers pulling behind flatbeds. So mm -hmm. just another shout out. We got national companies right here. Very good. I'll keep bringing them as I see them outside of home. All right, if there's nothing else, I move to adjourn. Second. Second by Commissioner Gehring. All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say nay. Motion carried. We are adjourned. Sorry, Phyllis. I can only get three this time. There's only going to be two. There's only going to be two.